On November 29, 2012, at UN headquarters in New York City, the UN hosted its annual International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian people. Speakers included Riyad Malki, Palestinian Foreign Minister, reading a statement of leader Mahmoud Abbas, Vuk Jeremich, the UN General Assembly President, Iran, speaking on behalf of the 120 member states of the non-aligned movement, Djibouti, speaking on behalf of the 56 member countries of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, the League of Arab States, Roger Waters, the only invited civil society representative, and Riyad Mansour, Palestinian UN representative. The voices you will hear are sometimes those of interpreters. It is my honor to address the international com com community on this International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian people. Israel's admission to the United Nations in 1949 was accompanied by two conditions. Israel's commitment to the partition resolution and the establishment of the Palestinian state, as well as return of Palestine refugees to their homes. We appeal to member states for their principled support of the draft resolution today. My deeply held view is that this is one of the world's most fundamental wrongs. Israel has also continued the mass imprisonment of Palestinians, constant humiliation, the killing of women and children. The prospects for peace and justice are challenged by Israel's colonial and discriminatory policies, the apartheid war crime against humanity. The racism of Israel and its settlers. Israel also persists in Judaizing East Jerusalem. Israel continues to adopt dangerous racial practices that call to mind the apartheid policies of South Africa. Israeli war machines brutal onslaught on civilians, including children, women, and the elderly. Israel is guilty of a number of international crimes, apartheid, ethnic cleansing. Following a 2005 call from Palestinian civil society, social movements, activists around the world have created the campaign for boycott, divestment, and sanctions and I support it wholeheartedly. The leaders of Hamas have made their position clear over and over again. It is this, Hamas is open to permanent peace with Israel. We are very grateful for this uh, tremendous event this morning. Israel's neighbors and their supporters claimed that the intention behind the General Assembly upgrade of the status of Palestine, which occurred directly after this meeting, was peaceful coexistence between a state of Palestine and the Jewish state. Yes, that is what they would have you believe. 